two sets of um, drain systems under our roads and our streets, and one's called stormwater and one's called wastewater. It's really important you guys know the difference um, between these two. So stormwater, that's the rain that's falling outside on our buildings, on our roads, and it's, it's not being able to soak down into the concrete, so it's, it's finding its way down into those stormwater drains, which leads straight out to the stream, stream and drains out to the harbour. So, to cut a long story short, stormwater goes straight down the drain, out to the stream in the harbour, and it doesn't get clean. Wastewater, that's all the water from, that we've used inside of our houses. So, where's that coming from? lived in this water and the land was covered with trees. Both the land and the waterways were full of life. Would you want to swim in a harbour like this? Yes. Yep. Would you eat fish caught in a harbour like this? Yes. Would you like to go boating in a harbour like this? Yes. Okay. Right, well rivers and streams, they, they ran from the land carrying sand with them as they flowed in Do you want 
Some hand sanitizer as well, so you guys can give your hands a little clean before you have a snack, alright? Because you know, it's in the stream and sometimes bacteria lives in the water, so we'll make sure we get nice clean hands before we eat or drink anything. Um, yes, so that's about it for our briefing. Um, can I just, you guys know how many of you are here? 22. had a look at some of the identification resources um, that you'll be able to use today there in your, in your brick cupboards. Remember those we had a look at in class? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So you have those to help identify them. Mm. Um, we did set some fish traps um, yesterday and we, we brought in what we collected from those into that fish aquarium there. So if you haven't had a chance to look yet, make sure you do have a look later on. Um, there's four different species in there. Um, one is a type of um, crustacean called a shrimp. Yeah. Right. What else is a crustacean? Um, crab. Crab, good. And there's another type of crustacean in there called a, called a crab. Yeah. Um, there's also um, 
So what do you think it kind of tells you about the health of the stream? Well, it tells us that it, the health of the stream is in a neutral neutral position. Okay. So it's not as good as other streams could be, but it's not as bad as other streams could be. It's cool. not too polluted. And is that what you thought it would be when you just when you came and had a look at the area? Well, I guess it would be a five, seven or five. Yep. So, yeah. So you've gone up or down or stay the same? We went around. This we is good. I think I went like two, two steps down or something. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Jennifer. My name 
is Jess Bay, and this is my catch that got eels. Eels are really good fish to find with good sensitivity scores. My, some of my facts are, there are two main types of eels, the short fin and the long fin. Eels migrate upstream as elvers to find suitable adult habitat. When eels begin life, they are a tiny one millimeter in length. This is one of the types of fins, eels. The short fin eel. This smaller native eel is olive green and lives closer to the coast. The long fin eel. The long fin eel are some of the name oh, they are named for their back fin, which is longer than on the short fin eel. Hi, my name is Kate and I did my personal study project about the freshwater shrimp and I found some facts about the freshwater shrimp and um, some of the facts I found was the scientific name for the freshwater shrimp is net. Oh, I know I feel it's moving, let's never 